Welcome to Earth Date Y2K 18.09.07 and this is Do-Rag Wisdom 60 Days Out from the Midterm Elections. And the Kavanaugh Kangaroo Committee hearings are continuing. I despise being treated as if I was stupid. And the traitor Trumpist party is doing just that. I wish that each and every one of you could view the, the sham hearings going on for Brett Kavanaugh. But most of you who may be viewing this are not retired as I am. You are busy trying to scrape something together, anything, so that you can simply survive. Meanwhile, I am taking advantage of my retirement by paying attention to things that I sadly never made time for. I was busy working. I do this especially for all of you, mainly the young who are still trying to make your place. As one who is on his way out, so to speak, as one who wishes to leave a pristine campsite for all to enjoy, I have volunteered to devote some of my time to give you all important information that I hope will help you all to have better lives. And I'm not saying that I'm the font of wisdom either. What is going on in these Kavanaugh hearings is a sham, an outrage, an absolute assault on our constitutional democratic republic. The traitor Trumpist party, formerly the GOP, is committing, among other things, two of the greatest outrages, cursing the deaf and putting a stumbling block before the blind. Please check in the book of Leviticus in your Bibles. The fundamental purpose of this traitorous party is to bamboozle innocent people, to lie and to cheat them, to take advantage of their clueless reality show ignorance. I understand that my view is colored by my liberalism, but that designation, my friends, has been earned by me from my 68-year experience on this wounded planet and for my evolution from being constipationally conservative to being diuretically liberal. I am also thankful for being liberal because it helps me to keep a youthful outlook. These Kavanaugh hearings are a sham. I wish that while I am viewing this outrage to our democratic republic, that it was all a movie in the vein of the Manchurian Candidate. I wish it was a movie. It's reality. Real reality. I will never forget nor forgive Bitch McDumbbell and his GOP for denying President Obama his rightful pick for Supreme Court Justice to replace the fascist kangaroo Scalia. Thanks in part to the fact that most of us did not vote in 2016, we put not a GOP in charge of our country, which I wouldn't agree with in any event, but instead we put a traitor Trumpist party in charge, bent on our destruction. The curse of Scalia may be gone, but thanks to citizen negligence and not voting, thanks to Bitch McDumbbell's nefarious, meretricious machinations, our country's about to have two Scalias on the highest court. First, the already lifetime appointed right-wing kangaroo judge, Gorsuch, and now, inevitably, because the Trumpists have control, the kangaroo right-wing religious extremist judge, Brett Kavanaugh. Repeat, we voted ourselves into this predicament. Here is a sample of what I was witnessing. Suck Astley is the GOP head of this committee, formerly known as Chuck Grassley. He is only showing monumental patience, um, you know, for protesting Democrats because he knows the traitor Trumpist majority is blocking the American people from seeing hundreds of thousands of documents detailing 
the professional political life and actions of the traitor Trump's nominee, Kavanaugh, especially information about his actions concerning race relations, a woman's right to choose, LGBTQ rights, voting rights, worker rights, environmental rights, and other matters. The traitor Trumpists respond that they are being unduly discriminated against because the Democrats are asking more of Kavanaugh than was asked of, say, Justice Kagan when she was being confirmed. The traitor Trumpists are true to form in that they fail to mention that there is much, 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 much more questionable material on Kavanaugh than there ever was on Justice Kagan. Kavanaugh, on the other hand, has been called the Forrest Gump Zelig of Washington, D.C. politics in that he has been involved in many major historical incidents, including whether or not the USA should sanction torture. He was especially picked because Trader Trump promised only to choose kangaroo justices who will overturn Roe v. Wade. And this one especially because Kavanaugh believes that a president has monumentally more power than we, the American people, should allow him. And that he would have excused Nixon, this Kavanaugh creep, and he intends, as Trump knows, to excuse him in case he is brought up on charges or whatever. The traitor Trump is trying to rush Kavanaugh through, claiming that it is bad for the American people to have an an incomplete Supreme Court. Yet they waited more than a year to deny President Obama his pick. You see how I, I say, I said at the beginning, how much I object to being treated as if I was stupid, as if we're all stupid. They don't think I remember how they behaved. They think that I erased it from my mind. I don't spend hours and hours a day watching reality TV or Fox News. I try to understand what's going on in this world. By the way, I'm extremely gratified that these kangaroo hearings were constantly being interrupted by protesters because it made me feel better that I'm not alone. Because it just seems inevitable that these Trumpist creeps are going to keep coming and coming and coming Yes, they're the minority. Yes, these religious extremist creeps are in the minority. But there's 60 million of them. That's like the 40%. And they're going to vote in numbers consistently. And what is the rest of us going to do? Twiddle away our democracy. Cory Booker has said he is going to reveal documents, and he has already that we are not allowed to see. And he is being backed by all participating Democrats on the committee. They keep demanding to know what the traitor Trumpists are hiding about this candidate for a lifetime job. This should not be. These folks, these justices, should not be allowed lifetime jobs. Booker had his Spartacus moment, quote unquote, when he was joined by other Democrats in their release of confidential Kavanaugh documents over the objections of the traitor Trumpists. Good for them. As Booker said, bring it on. He was threatened with expulsion from the Senate. Bring it on. Astley, I mean, excuse me, I want to make sure I say it. Senator Suck Astley and other Trumpists say that a lifetime appointment on the Supreme Court is a guarantee of independence. Ding, 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 wrong. How can a justice be independent if he is picked by a partisan president and backed by his partisan party? How can a justice be independent when he is a member of a right-wing federalist society bent on shoving their extremist ideas down our throats? Lifetime appointment for a kangaroo justice. What's wrong with us? How are we allowing a president named as an unindicted co-conspirator in a crime to pick a justice for the Supreme Court of our land for a lifetime? 
a lifetime. Something is seriously wrong here. And if you watch the hearings, a sense of anger and frustration will overcome you, especially since you realize that our lack of voting brought us to this tragic situation. The Democratic Committee is working hard to expose someone named Bill Burke, a lawyer for Trader Trump's outgoing White House counsel, McGahn. Only Burke is allowed to see all the documents while the rest of us are being denied that privilege. The citizens, the American people that the Republican Party is always claiming they're supporting. Burke, by the way, also worked for Kavanaugh. Please watch this space for important updates and please realize as much as the traitor Trumpist party says that it cares for the American people, once again it can give a shit about us. I am learning again and again how little respect these right-wing turds have for our intelligence. If we don't stop the traitor Trumpists in their quest to co-opt the three branches of our government for their own, your lives are going to be more miserable than you can ever imagine. A campsite full of smelly, rotting refuse. Vote your goddess damn asses off against these traitorous creeps in 60 days, please.